Yo, what's going on everyone? Miles Midoriya here, and that My Hero Academia Season 6 Episode 5 was wild. That episode went by so fast, I didn't want it to end. I gotta say, Miriko is a fighter. She literally wanted to try fighting the high end that was charging towards Endeavor. She needs to rest, no more fighting. You've been going in these past few episodes. Luckily, Gran Torino and the other heroes showed up to help out, but unfortunately, it was too late for x -Less. He was by Shigaraki, and he got eliminated by him. Yo, he should have did something in that moment, whether it was to restrain Shigaraki or at least take off because he is a dangerous person you do not want to be around. Another moment was Tokoyami. He was worried about Hawk, so he broke free from Fat Gum to go check on him. And it picks up right where we left off with Dobby and Hawk, so he arrived just in time to be able to break that up. Dobby wasted no time. He told Tokoyami to look over there. It was where Twice was at. He let him know that Hawks had stabbed him, a person that was trying to go save his friends. Tokoyami was shocked because that is somebody he looks up to and just thinking about if he did that. Dobby went on saying that, did you come here to save him? The pros you admire so much play dirtier than guys like him. Him bringing that up and in the last episode mentioning Stain, I guess I can see his point of view on some stuff because there are some heroes that are going to do good and others who don't. They may see the heroes on TV getting hyped up and everyone's excited that they're there saving the day, but behind the scenes, they might not be like that sometimes. But that doesn't mean he has to blame all the heroes. Not all of them are like that. Hawks let Tokoyami know when they was able to leave. They managed to jump to a level below them. That's when Dobby returns, but is interrupted by one of the other villains with an ice attack. That was perfect timing. Even though he wasn't trying to help them, him unleashing his quirk actually created a way for them to get out of there. Hawks is unconscious. Tokoyami's talking to him while he's crying. He said that he didn't play dirty. He believes in him. They all do. He did what was right. That was a sad moment because he does care about Hawks and he wants to make sure that he's good and that he understands what he did. But y'all let me know in the comment section down below. It's been a while when I've seen the previous seasons, but are some of the heroes allowed to take out the villains under certain circumstances or do they just throw them in jail? Deku and the others are evacuating the people and ba like jumping to another scene, Deku and the others are evacuating the people and Bakugo's being Bakugo, yelling at somebody that was trying to be nice to him. All of a sudden, Deku hears a voice. It's the first wielder of one for all. He's trying to warn him, which we all know Shigaraki is awake. And speaking of him, back at the hospital, he uses his quirk and he's just destroying everything in sight. Once the heroes noticed, they took off. The ones that can fly, they picked up as many people as they could and they went. Now all of a sudden, Eraserhead is getting dragged down by one of the high ends and Crush uses his shield to break him free, but he, he got eliminated in the process. Like It was so sad to see that. He helped out until the end, and we've seen even more heroes like on the outside get eliminated. Trees, buildings, everything that this quirk is touching is just destroying. Deku tried to put a stop to it or something, and it didn't work. Todoroki jumped in and put some ice up, but that was even getting destroyed, so they all ran and picked up as many people as they could, and they took off. When they showed Shigaraki, I think All For One was trying to talk to him and then he actually contacted the monster that was asleep in the last episode and told him that he's going to be destroying everything and that's where the episode ends. Overall, the episode was good. Like, it really drew you in. Like, I didn't even know the episode was going to end right there. I thought we was going to see something else pop up, but it was just so on point. Like, it was just destruction everywhere. You think the heroes was going to win for a little bit, but once he woke up, it was over. Next week's episode or the few episodes after that is going to be even wilder probably. But y'all let me know in the comment section down below what did you think about this episode and what was your favorite part. Here's some more My Hero Academia videos. Thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.